Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, they're still in the midst of this as we are actually recording this, but Teofimo Lopez and Terrence Crawford are going at it on social media, and, and Terrence Crawford is actually looking to pull up on Teofimo Lopez. Apparently, Terrence Crawford is in the same city as Teo. He's been trying to get Teo to disclose his, his location. He says that he's trying to see something. Now, to me personally, Jay, all of this got started from a comment from Teofimo Lopez where he mentioned something about himself being at the store to buy some bananas. Now, we have avoided talking about this, Jay, but I think for this particular occasion, y'all asked for it. I know you niggas been waiting for this for a long time. Here it is, nigga. Here it is. We go do it. Hey, look. If you keep sitting up here talking about bananas and African Americans and you pretend as though you don't understand what that means, you were just using an analogy that you use poorly. And then you circle the block and start talking about bananas again. You being openly disrespectful, fam. Period. End the story. Like, we can give you a slide on the first one, fam. We can give you a slide on the first one. You've been known to use the N-word for several for like several times that I've seen you use the N-word, right? And that's part of the problem with people not actually checking you for using the N-word when you're not African-American. That's part of the problem. So now you feel comfortable. You feel like you're in an environment where you can just sit up and say whatever it is you want to say. You were just on Cam and May's show, but you didn't have that same energy then. Now you're sitting at home or, or wherever it is and you tweeting and you're talking all this banana stuff going to the store. I'm, I'm at the store buying some bananas. No, nah, bro. See, to me right now, you're not showing any deference. To African Americans, you're not showing any respect to African Americans. You play dumb, but then want to use these racial terms. And so, yeah, I'm a hundred percent with Crawford. I hope he finds you and puts you in the dirt, in the dirt. And don't get me wrong, um, you know I ain't always been the biggest fan of Crawford, but I'm a, I'm a hundred percent supportive in this situation. I like this Crawford gangster, gangster, he gangster. <laughs> He wants to go out there and get him, him and his daddy. So yeah, I'm 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 all for I'm all for Bud going over there and putting Tio in the dirt. I don't usually talk about stuff like this. I don't usually get into the personal stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't usually talk about this type of stuff if it's not related to boxing. But the consistent open disrespect when in reality the whole situation is about boxing. Dog, I gotta say something about it. And I don't like to, because I don't like to get angry, man, but this is the Angry Man Podcast, and this is the type of stuff that'll take me over the edge, and this is the type of stuff that I really try to avoid, and I try to avoid being in, in Boxer's personal life, but to me, there's a, there's, a, there's a boundary here, there's a fine line, and in my personal opinion, he crossed that fine line, and I'm able to speak on this, this is not about your personal life, I don't like you, bro, I don't like you, I don't like anything you stand for, I think you almost said something, go ahead, bro. Welcome to the welcome welcome to my side of the street, man. Well, I, I ain't like Tio nor Ryan, but this is about Tio. And to your point, Tio just doubled down. It's like when he was on the camera maestro, you know, he was like kind of makes it like he didn't know what he said. And he's like, Well, you know, I just want to poke him just a little bit. That ain't no poke. That ain't no poke, bro. That ain't no poke. That ain't no poke. And you continuously double down with it over and over again. So I'm more, I mean, right now, hey, bud, don't don't get him in the street, man. I know you don't want to give him a payday, but I don't want you to go to jail, nothing like that. So, but if you do put hands on, make sure you record it, burn it, make sure you record it on a better quality <laughs> phone than what you had beforehand. Put that in the and dirt. Put them in the dirt. And I'm quite sure all the fans are not even chipping if you have to have Bill. Because I want you to put them in the dirt. Because this little kid got to go. You told, you got in his daddy face like a man, talked to his daddy, and he sat on the sideline. And now he over here pulling this same stuff. I mean, I'm, I, I was reading some on Twitter, some of the posts, people talking about, oh, Terrence is doing this for clout. It's ridiculous. Bud ain't doing this for no dog on clout. But talked on that video when he was with Bernie Box and said, hey, some of the things going to make him wig out. When he wig out, it's, it's on. And that's what how Crawford, I, how Crawford getting clout talking about Teofimo Lopez? How Terrence Crawford getting exactly. clout talking about Terrence, uh, Terrence Crawford getting clout talking about Teofimo Lopez? Who is Teofimo Lopez to get clout from? Man, stop. Exactly. 
It, that's why when I saw the tweet, I was in that tears like, man, you don't even believe that. Like, but it was like, you don't even believe that. He's like, no, they can't. So, I mean, as y'all can see here, I'm I'm just chill because I'm just laughing at it because I really want Bud to put hands on this man. I really do. I Beforehand, I want Bud to go to another 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 way of doing it. But, hey, he done put himself in a predicament that his, his check, we've already checked that his ass can't cash. And Bud is about action right now. And I, I don't think I've ever seen really Bud doing stuff like this before to this level. But he, Bud, he, Bud gonna catch me. And when he do, I just want it to be filmed. I just want it to be filmed. Cause I need to see him put him in the dirt. I need to see him put him in the dirt, man. I'm 100% with Bud on this. Thousand percent. This, this really like, it, it, it just, it pisses me off, dog. It pisses me off. Because like I said, I, Jay, you know me, man. I give people the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes people just try to make an analogy and they don't even realize what it is that they're doing. So, you know, the first time he said that, it's like, you know what? Okay. It, it looks suspect. I got an issue with it. But you know what? Maybe, maybe kid, you know, I, I've seen him use the N-word multiple occasions. So maybe he's he's grown up with African Americans. I, I I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass judgment. But when you uh, I'm at the store buying bananas, so now I know that there is intent. There's intent he, behind he that. To he was saying that responding respond to Bud because Bud said, I'm in your city. Mm -hmm. And he flipped the ball because he was at a at top rank. And then that's when Tio said that. But he's doing it with intent. But Tio also said some stuff. Oh, I'm black from the waist down. It's just stupid stuff. Little, little little slick stuff like that. You know? Yo. That I don't forget. I don't forget nothing. I don't say sometimes I don't say a lot, but I don't forget anything. So, Bud, put this dude in the dirt. Put him yeah. Once you start to show intent in terms of what you're saying, you know, anybody can make a mistake, but he's clearly showing intent. It's intentional with what he's doing. And I don't, you know, I'm not the greatest on Twitter. I'd be the first to admit that. I can't tell what string and, and who is responding to what oftentimes. But what I do know is that regardless of what he was responding to, he's showing intent by making that making that comment again. So as far as I'm concerned, Little buddy, somebody need to do something about you. At the end of the day, you're going to end up more than likely, like, stuff like that don't end up well for you, little buddy. It doesn't. Yeah. It never does. Yeah. So, so. But you know, yeah. also, it, on my bag, start to cut y'all, but you know, also, his peers also have to put him in check. It should exactly. be an older, a veteran, like, very, but put him in check. It should be the tank. It should be the Shakur's. It should be all of them. Putting this dude in check like they should put Ryan in check, but they didn't. Also, Cam and Mace didn't do their job on when he was on their on their show. They should have checked them too. They should have checked them too, and I thought they were going to check them, but they didn't. But anyway, we finally addressed it. I have been trying to avoid it. Not my favorite thing to do, but when somebody continuously tries to you know show intent like that, it just it pisses me off. And. I had to say somebody. It was no remorse. It was no regret. It was just a continuation of what he was doing. So I hope Crawford does put him in the dirt. You guys tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Anger Man Podcast and Sports Media. And we are, you know what, F Ryan too for what he said. Yeah. 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 We out.